Okay, I'm gonna join you shortly, guys. Please, just one minute, please. Okay, we're gonna go out to Armstrong and um, we'd love to say welcome to all of you there live. So we're gonna go to Steve. I just want to be, you know, doing a little bit while we try to to just connect you all. But we'd love to say welcome to all of you people. 
um, this is Nima Dina TV as usual and tonight's presentation is called uh, Independence Day Special um, and we're going to let you know exactly what has been happening in our district and what's been happening in the capital of Morovia uh, this is Astro Cooper who will be joining our local radio stations very very shortly so let us begin with Pastor Jimmy Kuya here very quickly uh, yeah, so we just love to see some inconvenience in studios that was just due to some technical problem but by the grace we, we, we are now on Okay, uh, Pastor, just hold on there. Let's join Radio Cyclopia very, very shortly, please. We have some technical problem here, but it's not been settled. Oh, thank God for that. That is settled. Okay. Let me hold the let, let Moji call, then uh, we join you all. Okay, now we we will bring this thing some down because we had a little bit of issue here in studio not too long ago. Uh, there was a technical problem, but we love to say good evening to all of our people in Radio Land and good evening to all of our people that are watching us live and direct from Center Studios here in Monrovia. Behind the camera tonight is will it be by the cafe <laughs> the little man here is here tonight so we love to say welcome again uh timothy good evening to you in cyclopia thank you and my uh, good evening to everybody following us and um, the crew of Dina TV. okay or uh, pastor jimmy queer good evening to you as well good evening good evening major good evening and listen i want to say tonight to you uh Happy, happy birthday to you. You celebrated your birthday yesterday. And then listen, we didn't expect you to be at this time here. You should have been lying down as a young baby. But you are crawling and walking at this time. So welcome and happy birthday to you once again. Okay, thanks very much for that recognition. And tonight with us is uh, Armstrong Cooper. Uh, Armstrong actually works for Cool FM uh, here in Monrovia in the Montserrat. That is one of the... Uh, uh, wonderful independent uh, radio stations. We we are live tonight on our normal TV, and we love to say goodos to all of our people. A lot of happiness in Nimba County Electoral District Number Nine, and we love to say to all of our people who are locked down to the broadcast tonight. It's going to be a wonderful one. All you need to do for us is to keep sharing the video, to keep sharing the live, and uh, we're going to go through. But before we go tonight. I uh, would love to say, uh, Pastor Jimmy Kwea, just open us in prayer for one minute. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much for this day you've given us. Thank you that you are our God who created heaven and earth. Thank you for this technology. Thank you for uh, the wisdom you put in the, into the earth of men. We come tonight to discuss issues pertaining to us. We ask for that you lead us tonight. We commit the uh, family into your care, the family of uh, Antonia Law, the late Preston G. Kakaza into your care, the nation is bereaved, Tatata is bereaved, and the Nimba is bereaved. Lord, you console us, and Lord, as we go through tonight, may your grace be upon us, and at the end, you will take the story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so we're not going to waste most of our time tonight. Um, we're going to go to Studio B, but before we go to Studio B, um, my name is Edmund C. Bawi, and with us here tonight is Armstrong Wisdom Cooper, the seven last man of all. He is relatively last, and you are on TV tonight, relatively last. we love to say good evening to the people of Doe Administrative District, good evening to the people of Yahweh Mesnot Statutory District, and good evening to all of our fathers, our mothers, and, uh, all those who are viewing us tonight would love to say welcome to the show as always. So we are here and we are with you. But uh, before we, we, we go into our program, we love to extend our deepest condolences to the people yeah. of Electoral Nimba District 9, uh, to the people of Electoral District 6, 
to the people yeah. of Electoral District 5, District 4, District 8, District 7, District 2, District 3, and District 1. For the last of one of the best sons of Nimba, Mr. Preston Kakezia. If you are watching us live here on Nimba Dina TV, Brother Preston Kakezia is live on the screen. He is, you, are, you can see him relaxed in his chair. For sure. He didn't know he was going to die. He is relaxed in this chair as you see him on the screen live. Mm. We love to say our deepest condolences to the bereaved family and to all of us in Nimba. Um, we just take one second of our time as a moment of silence to remember him. Amen. Mm. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, today, there have been a lot of things happening across Electoral District 9. Gentlemen, like we always told you, you are contributing immensely to the work of the county, to the work of the district, and uh, you are doing pretty well. Today, for the first of its kind, two sons of Electoral District 9 who have gone in the United States of America to study. They decided that what can we do to give back to our communities? And in presence of Zokuan Bawi from Yokiai and Zikepa, they provided 1,000 1, Liberian dollars each for every for every town chief in Yahweh yeah, must not start the territory district as the attorney Congratulations. As the attorney six. I think that is something that we need to commend them for. If you see on the screen, the first man with the cap is Zokuan Bawi. Mm. The second man is Besto Timba. And the friend there is uh, J. Hoda Nua. Uh, they are all there oh. in New York. The order in New York. But amongst them, it was Zokuo and uh, Besto Tingma who decided to give a total of $1,000 each to all of our town chiefs across Yahweh yeah, Mesno Tati Terry District. So we love to say thanks to them and may God bless them for all that they've done. Then, not stopping there, Mr. Oscar Bless who? He is from Queen D. And he said, hello, this thing is becoming a competition now. Mr. Oscar Bless who is from Queen D. And he too said, hello, I cannot sit and my young guys just go on and on and on and on and doing things that I'm not, I mean, let us say, I'm not in America too. And since he's from Queen D, he decided to also give all of the teachers of Queen D a package for the 26th celebration. Wow. So there are a lot more things happening in Electoral District number 9. So lots to say welcome to the show and thanks to all of them. Uh, but Timothy, we are in at Radio Cyclopia. You are just follow this uh, development. I believe one of the uh, the Sanitary District Commissioner was there. If you on the TV screen, you will notice that this is Oscar Blessu right there on the screen. He and Councilor Tiawa Gonglo. Uh, he has gone to visit Council of Tianwan Gonglo. So, um, you were today in, in Saclepie when a citizen of the district came to your station and I followed, I followed the broadcast from there. So, Timothy, what really did uh, Honorable Logbe say to you people? Timothy, are you with us? Yeah, no, I'm here. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah, I'm asking what really did uh, Honorable David Jacobs, you know, inform you guys about as it relates to this breaking news of sons of the district giving back to the community, especially town chiefs? Well, uh, that, um, and I'm talking uh, for the people, all the town chiefs, uh, taking away for the, uh, the government to actually do a certain town chief. Thank you. Well, actually, the overview with uh, on a day, no day, Jacob, as a not shadow, 
And a summer did bring about this news that Fauci would be giving 1,000 at each for that 26. And that is some man that keep growing across the area. He was on one of our biggest platforms, the public for this afternoon. Where a lot of people call and make a contribution, employing those two gender guys. And also recommending to the government to make it um, a legal issue. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so make it something that the statute will benefit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then, um, as well as in Zikepa today, there was another great event. Uh, there is an NGO that I heard as a country director, by the way. I'm a TV present, uh, you know, presenter, but I'm also an executive director of an organization called Reverend Samuel Bawi Leadership Empowerment Team. It's called Samla Liberia. Uh, today, there was a launching of a project called GOATMA. GOATMA is called God's Mission is Lifting All Librarians Through Empowerment. Uh, they launched a program today in Zikepa at the Zikepa Health Center and Matina Waiting Home where uh, food has been given to the pregnant women who are at the health, various health centers in Mela, in uh, Zikepa, in Boyi, and in Quendin. And in Quendin. Uh, Madam Beatrice Bawi and the team. Uh, headed by Imalo Bawi, who is the county uh, manager. Uh, also, Jimmy Kuya, who is sitting you know, at controls at the voice of Tapetan. Uh, uh, Mr. Jerry S. Tompo, who is also the regional supervisor. These are work that they did over there in Zikeba today. Okay. So now we're going to go straight over to Armstrong, uh, who was for Cool FM. Uh, there's this issue. That is happening for the 26th. As we may be aware, there's 26 celebration uh, that has already started. Yeah. There have been some uh, foreign leaders trooping into our country. I was somewhere today where I watch the gymnastic, if I may say, mm -hmm. of Nigerian police display their gymnastics as it relates to convoy movement with their motorcycles, and you could see then. Play style like a motorcyclist, you know, in the rural communities and in the urban area. Sure. So it was really wonderful today. But I'll show further some of the stories and some of the happiness. But what excited us most was the issue about the so called Zobos. Uh, Zobos are underprivileged drug users, you know, if one may say, uh, that are just, you know, in the street. Uh, they do not have a specific place to, to stay. Some of them are, are just vulnerable to anything to do drugs. But uh, we're going to go to the studio, Armstrong, who reported on Cool F about some issue that happened with the, with the, you know, Zogos and the government of Liberia. So, Armstrong, it's over to you. What actually happened today? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Major Edmond C. Bowie, and thanks to all of you uh, now in Radio Land, uh, Voice of Tabata, Radio Cyclope. We'd like to say thank you for joining us. And uh, today in the capital Monrovia, it was not easy when uh, the disadvantaged youth, uh, commonly known as Zogos, you know, gathered themselves at the Samarkand those post complex where the uh, with the arrival of uh, Liberia President George Manawia, under the pretense that you know he promised them five thousand Liberian dollars each as their Tony says celebration, because as we can record. Uh, since uh, August 22nd, that's July 22nd, the president disbursed uh, 5,000 Liberian dollars each to those disadvantaged youth uh, somewhere in the Broad Street area as they are 26 and those of them in the uh, Pinsville area were expecting the answer today. But unfortunately, they were unable, hmm. uh, the president was unable to reach them uh, at the summer camp, those post complex. So uh, this uh, action turned them mad as they you know go about in marketplaces most especially at the EFW junction mm -hmm. harassing people businesses and uh, earlier on at 12 o'clock this afternoon we got complaint from two market women that uh, the Zocos uh, harassed them mm -hmm. allegedly and mm -hmm. took away all of their goods and telling them that the president going to pay since he's not you know attending to them to pay their five thousand librarian dollars as their 26. Okay. so uh when my boss sent me there 
I did some interview with the marketeers, I did some interview with passerbys, and then it was confirmed that those Zocos were uh, approximately 150 in numbers, wow. just walking around all over the marketplaces, harassing people of their goods and services, you know, that uh, the president promised them 5,000 I bring that for that 26 cents gather themselves at the uh, summer camp, those post complex, and it's nowhere to be found. So uh, they're going to, you know, disturb the market, they're going to harass people, and the president is going to be responsible for, you know, those items. And then uh, <laughs> when, I, when I take a tour at the summer camp, those post complex, it was even worse hmm. when I saw a shop and stores close, wow. right opposite the summer camp, those post complex, hmm. and there were too many people complaining. Hmm. The Keke boys were harassed, motorcyclists, even uh, information reaching our, our studio said that uh, two motorcycles were stolen. Mm. And uh, you know, a list of too many dangerous things happened today. But then the question was, was it really true that the president promised those guys, you know, 5,000 Liberian dollars each as their, you know, 26 celebration? Was it really true? Or is it that they are doing their own thing? But uh, uh, the intervention of the Liberian National Police was very poor. Mm. When I spoke to uh, the detachment of the Liberian National Police at the ERW Junction, mm -hmm. they referred me to the Samarkand those post complex where I went, and then I was denied access to the commander then. Oh, wow. And then, you know, uh, that was the happening today here in Monrovia. So uh, it was very bad on the part of the Zocos, mm. and then uh, too many marketeers complaining their businesses well, you know, token uh, by the uh, Zocos. Okay, good. Thanks, thanks a lot for that, for that, you know, development. Mm. Uh, but, well, we, we would like to say thanks to all, all of our people who have joined us. Thanks to Astro for running us through. Let us see who all have joined us here tonight. We have uh, PK has joined us. She said, I've been waiting for the show. Yes, they yeah. always have been waiting for the show. Thanks for joining us. We're here tonight. We have Jeff Samuels. He said, hi, Johnny from Sinko. And we have Mike Dan, our program producer, uh, yet on Nimba Dina TV. Say thanks, guys, for the show. You see, I'm watching from Cinco. Thanks a lot. And we have my uh, long song. He said, don't start what you can end. So he's making reference to the Zogo story. Yeah, sure. So, gentlemen, in Radio Land, that was happening today in Monrovia, Liberia. And you just heard from Astro Copa, who happened to be... The one of the reporters of our cool FM and also a reporter for Nima Dina TV. So, um, let us go to our studio guest in the Tapetan, beginning with Tapetan. This program tonight is called Independence Day Special. Uh, so Pastor Jimmy Queer, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the land and we will give one minute each to all of our callers to tell us. How do they how do they feel about this year Independence Day celebration? And we're going to do the same with our uh, co-producer Timothy Weir to to open up the lands and let our listeners tell us how do they feel about this year Independence Day celebration. So, gentlemen, please, uh, you can open up the lands. But just in case you have some comments about what was reported, you can also fill us in. Well, thank you so much for that uh, analysis of what's happening around us in our country. You guys have been able to read it on. That's uh, very good, but it's starting to us. I was following that today on the CDC Youth uh, Press Conference, and uh, I made a thank all because uh, there was not actually say anything that could represent our nation. So all of those starting in the, in the information you have got, you guys have put out, we really need to pray for this country, Liberia. So uh, as you are still going to open the line, so as to get views from uh, listeners out there in the government, you know, in the Canada district, and uh, elsewhere who are following us to, to discuss, to put in their input about what, how is this uh, policy is going to be look like. Uh, is, is this going to be Papa has come? Uh, is this going to be showing okay? Uh, their father and, and receiving what they have been receiving in the past. So, so if you are out there and listening to us, you can call us at zero triple seven triple seven nine eight zero. You're going to be live on the D nine radio on the voice of Tameta and put in your intake about the July twenty six program. Oh well, so Timothy, we're going to go over to you as well. Well, thank you very much, 
almost cry and I cry because Armstrong Cooper West for Cool FM and uh, Cool FM covers uh, Mike Gibby and a lot of counties here in uh, uh, I mean what's around and his surrounding and uh, he was on the air yesterday and my birthday was celebrated by and uh, you also posted uh, for Nimba Dina TV as well and uh, and uh, and you uh, know Captain Willoughby Tingba and almost a thousand plus people just writing me all over the world. People I've never met before. And I'm very happy of you all. Gentlemen, this year, birthday. Like I told you people, we're going to send a girl child to school in Glaze of here. Nimba Dina TV is going to send a girl child to school in Glaze of here. Congratulations. I mean, like for, this year, for this year, for this year, birth anniversary. Yeah. And uh, if, if a child, that lucky child, that lucky girl child is going to come for Captain Willie beating back home. And uh, in recognition of his work to this uh, all important program, all important platform, uh, by September, we're going to make that money available. And we're just going to select, God will just select that kit for the more all kits. And we're going to send that kit to school. Sure. As our way of appreciating God and appreciating you all who have been following this program. So we'd love to say thanks to all of you who make it your business. I mean, to get on the internet. To send me text messages, ah, man, it was quite exciting yesterday. So I like to say thanks to all of you, and may God bless you. Let us acknowledge those who have joined us. We have Cotton Flomo has just joined us, and a lot of people have joined us. But again, there are small delays in internet. But again, we are here, and we are here. You can call us also if you are in Mozarado, if you are in um, uh, if you are in Mozarado, Kitman. Uh, in the belt of a uh, grand G, there, like our brother who always following us from Zwerju, yeah, yeah, uh, sure. from Lofa Kante, from Bum Kante, and all over. And you are viewing us, you can call us here tonight and, and tell us your feelings about this year Independence Day celebration. You can call us on 0776 572019. And for those who are on the internet, we are just about to pin. The number that you can call us on, uh, there's a little bit delay here, but but we're going to try. We're going to keep trying and make sure that we we'll follow and I'll post that number for you to call. The number is always there on the stream. You can call us on WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp number remain the same, sure. so you can call us. But while we're waiting for call, let us say a uh, pretty happy birthday to Professor Johnson and Gwaiklo mm -hmm. and he's celebrating mm -hmm. his birthday actually himself. tomorrow yeah his birthday is on and, tomorrow and uh, on Tony says on a row Aroma Tonake Timba we also be celebrating his birthday and we love to say happy birthday to all of our leaders all of our people who will also be celebrating along with them so we love to say gulos to all of you 
and uh, we are happy that we have you. And all that we can tell you is, together we can do better. Sure. Together we can do better. The message that you guys are carrying out, the message is going far and wide. And every day there seems to be something good coming out of what we are doing. Every day there's something happening. We have Eddie Bianca. Eddie Bianca is my friend and brother. He is watching us from somewhere. I think he's watching us from Senicole, actually. Uh, he's watching us from Senicole, I guess. So he is Eddie Bianca. Let's hear the music as we are waiting for course. let us keep announcing the numbers sure. and that our people can call and be a part of tonight's uh, conversation tell us how do you uh, feel about this year independence day celebration Liberia is turning 172 uh, just in two this and time I, yes so good Astro yeah uh, 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 just unfortunately uh, right here in Montserrat County as you may be aware we we expect or we anticipate uh, the by election, mm -hmm. the Montserrat County mm -hmm. Senatorial by election mm -hmm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the biggest question around the city now is, is this election possible? Because mm -hmm. uh, the National Election Commission have requested the remaining one million for you know the you know electoral process uh, before uh, the 29th of this month. And then uh, looking at the you know uh, budget now for the country, the government is not able to provide that you know one million United States dollar for you know the electoral process. And then uh, when I listen to too many radio stations uh, this morning, like uh, the Costa Show, mm -hmm. when I listen to the Cool Morning Round, when I listen to the True Breakfast Show, these were issues that have been flagged all around the city. Is it possible that uh, the senatorial by election for Montserrat County, you know, hold for Monday? Because uh, the senatorial by election and uh, the by election for district number 15, Montserrat County, mm -hmm. as you may be aware, uh, Adolf Lawrence, yeah. the representative for district number 15, passed off. And then there's a you by election. Tragic, yeah, tragic, tragic of accident. accident on the Robinson So these are questions Highway. running through the minds of citizens of Montserrat County. And I just want to let people in the diaspora, people in Nima County, who always follow in development for Nima County no. but uh, uh, like for the independent celebration uh, I, I've spoke to too many people like when I was doing my 
our last week coverage on our yesterday. Okay. Too many people complain that mm. there's no money, wow. the US rate is high, mm. and then no money to buy clothes for the children. Mm. And uh, uh, just uh, on uh, Sunday, mm. I follow one uh, little girl, you know, discussing with mom, mm. crying bitterly. Mama, turn the day, you finish facing my hair. What happened in the day? You're not feeling my hair, eh? Mm. But the other one is about, you're not feeling my hair, mama, oh my you're God. not being friendly. You know, wow. or, you know, too many complaints mm. in the city. Mm. And now, uh, in my, as an individual, mm -hmm. Major to admit mm -hmm. in my mind this independent celebration mm -hmm. as an individual, I'm not speaking mm -hmm. as a journalist, yeah, sure. but as an individual individual, I know that this independent celebration mm -hmm. is not going down well with too many Liberian citizens. Okay. The reason is because the country is hard, US right now in Montserrat County is 204. Mm -hmm. 204, you know, Liberian dollars to one United mm -hmm. States dollars. Wow. And then the things prices are climbing up, mm -hmm. too many charges, and you know. People mm. just complaining, and then we come with this, you know, uh, issue about President giving Zoko's five thousand like, dollars, each. and then you know, mm. interfering with the independence celebration. People goods have been stood up, mm. and I just think that this independence celebration is just gonna be, you know, side on, you know, many Liberians, mm. and you know, people are going to complain a lot about this. Okay, well, who as as that, and uh, let us <laughs> inform all of our listeners. You can call us on zero seven seven six. Five seven two zero one nine, and uh, you can be live here tonight. And to our reporter there in uh, Zikepa, Mr. Patrick Wheeler, you can call us and fill us in about development from that side as sure. well. Uh, your the the lines are open here for you. So let us take a few comments here. We have our uh, Hotton Flomo who says he's watching us from here. Debbie here. Hotton Flomo, brother-in-law of. Uh, Representative John C. M. Gweklo. Okay. Uh, yes, he is the brother-in-law. Uh, he married to Representative Gweklo's first daughter, Amanda. And they actually have their company called the Patawi Travel Service. And uh, yes, we, we're going to go there someday and, and just have you. So the number to call is on the screen here for the TV viewers. You can call and uh, you will be here live in Saclopier and on the TV and all over. So we anticipate your call. Please call us and uh, tell us how you feeling about this year Independence Day celebration. celebration. So Timete, you can please announce the number. Once again, you can call me on zero triple seven triple seven nine nine seven. That is your dial zero one seven. Your dial six at your dial seven six seven and nine nine seven zero seven 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 nine nine seven. Okay. And, wow. Let's take that caller, please. for calling we are concerned about that i think we did similar thing like that before there was a man who allegedly went missing between Voipa and guoteng and uh we were able to to get him you know because of Nimba dina tv okay so uh maybe if that person is listening to us you can call and let us know what's happening to you at that end but let us acknowledge those who are joining us we have aloysius kanga has just joined us we have ambassador Rafael E. Drunkul II, he said, keep it all, guys, all the best. And we had Jeff Samuels, he said, but news coming now is Zoko's from Grand Basel just arrived. Oh, uh, no, this is, this is, uh, this is actually unconfirmed. <laughs> this is unconfirmed. We are on serious business. <laughs> there are no Zoko's coming from Grand Basel for the attorneys. So, well, it's unconfirmed. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah, unconfirmed. It's actually unconfirmed. So, lot to say good evening to Pastor Kupo Due. Good evening to all of our pastors. Good evening to all of our town chiefs who are very happy people across Yahweh Mesno Statutory District because of their children Zokuan Bawi and Besto Timba. They touch their lives with one thousand dollars each. And good evening to our lecturers or teachers at the Quendi Vocational Training Center. Uh, that our son Oscar Blessu and his organization were also able to touch their lives with some money. 
and uh, thanks to Samuel Liberia as well for the wonderful job they've done uh, in the district, especially with the launch of that program uh, over there. So Professor Guayclo celebrates his birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. You can see him staying in his that, office. Please, let's take that call, please. Hello? Hello, your name? Hello. Hello, your name? I'm coming, Jack. Can you call your phone name, please? I'm Jack. Is that your phone name? No. Yeah, what's your phone name, my brother? Jack T. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm So let let's so, let let us go to Pastor Jimmy uh, Queer as well to announce the number for his end. Okay, there is uh, the number to call to be live on the D9 uh, radio show on the voice of Tabata to discuss issues uh, attending to the 26th celebration, 0 triple seven triple seven nine eight zero and put you live. And this is Pastor, Pastor Matthew uh, G. Chua is watching her live from Abby Jen wow. on this show tonight. Wow, and Pastor Chua would love to say good evening. Uh, he is actually from the uh, Great Commission movement there in Tapeta, uh, not Tapeta, but Ganta City. Ganta. Yeah, right. Ganta City. Pastor Chua would love to say good evening to all of you. This is a platform that is meant for religious people and we can go okay. anywhere. Okay, Emot, we have a call here. We have a call. Let's take this call, please. Let's please take that call. Can you recall your name and where do you call us from? Oh, Bobby, thank you so much for calling. Why have you called? Sure, sure. That is actually awesome and you know many people like feel discouraged you know about what's happening like you heard from the reporter he has been in the field he reports for the very very independent radio station here in Morovia and uh, I mean it's just so sad honestly gentlemen but well that is it that we have yeah that's, just yeah, that's it that we have it's like bro that we all have this like so this. yes uh the lines are open you can call us yes let's please do hello Yes, sure. You are live. Who are here? Oh, yeah. 
Thank you for that. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, uh, we have we have heard that complaint, and like we said before, sooner than later, we will have an equipment uh, for Nima Dina TV that will be stationed at Saklepia Radio Station, and that of Voice of Tapetan. Uh, it's just that you cannot start so so fast. Yeah, sure. And you know sometimes, but we love to say sorry. We have heard that complaint also from Tapetan as well. Uh, but I mean, if you see us tonight on the TV, uh, this is Kona and Yom, Twin Survivor 8. Kona has been one of the very, very, very instrumental, you know, person behind this whole TV. She makes sure that every time, she, yeah, do we have a caller? Yeah, another caller. Okay, please, let, let's take that call. Hello, caller. Yeah, hello. That is a new one. My name is Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, thank you very much for the question you asked tonight. I don't want to do the country is independent. So I can do anything I want. We still looking for money all around for another country to do something I want to do. I said independent. So I don't want to Wow. <laughs> well, so okay, yeah, yeah, just gone. So if you are on the TV and you're watching us, you will notice that Astron is having a little bit of red. And a little bit of white, and I'm in my entire number okay. outfit. We, we have a color here. We have a color here. Uh, please, yeah, please, please. We have a color here. Yeah, please take that color. Where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Sorry, sorry, we made that call. We're so we, we are in our red, white, and blue and celebrating. Bill Bill guy has just joined us from Morocco. Bill okay, is okay. The caller is back on the line. The caller is back on the line. Let's take this call. Sure, please do. Oh, 
Thank you, okay. so Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Contribution. So well, we will just take. All right. We're not taking any more calls again. Yeah, sure. We we want to say thanks to all of our callers, but let us let us take your, uh, let us take one minute each of your time, gentlemen. Beginning with Pastor, Pastor Jimmy Queer. You have just listened to all of the callers. Not even one person could say we should mm. celebrate not Independence not Day. Person. The one hundred seventy-two. So, Pastor, what is your take in one minute? Well, uh, you see, it is, it is proving uh, independence has to do with freedom. Independence has to do with uh, being able to see yourself, being able to prove yourself, being able to have a factory to produce things, being able to uh, help other countries in terms of uh, industry and food and other commodities. But uh, this independent stuff we we have in Nigeria, we are jacket. We 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 were not ready. Now full bottom looks like the situation we are suffering for its day. So actually I agree with those call that call. Uh welcome to independence. Liberia, we still have problems with things. Thank you so much. Alright, thanks a lot and just extend greetings to Questions and extend your Independence Day greetings to them. <laughs> no matter what the case we have to do. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I uh, just want to send this uh, Independence uh, greeting to my my mom and dad in person of Mr. Lisa here and John here of Grandpa. And this one also goes to my dad to. I'm glad to be next to the Mr. Dwayne. Wow! We can't wait to stay in that wedding. Congratulations to your mom. I'm the best man of that wedding, of course. Yes, in Canada and in Grand Vista. Okay, then we'll flip over quickly to our teammate. We are, you know, teammate, just tell him one minute your own side of what you have just, those things you just heard. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I also want to talk to my followers on the other hand. And I also do follow them on the other hand. And I concur with them to the extent that uh, there are a lot of things lacking on the independent state. After the independent state, there are a lot of things lacking in the industrial and there are a lot of things that need to make us uh, ready to be independent. But then, on the other hand, the strength, we are not also like Absolutely. 
Astron, just two seconds of the time because we're already out of time. You now. get Timothy? Two seconds, Astron, you got to go two seconds. And I agree, Timothy. One minute, one minute. Two okay, seconds. Um, I want to say thanks to all of you who always tune in to uh, Dina TV live on Facebook. Those of you in the diaspora, those of you in Liberia, I would like to say thank you. And I'd like to say happy belated birthday to Mayor. For me to be the civil life model, but the most talk about civil life model for today, it was through the instrumentality of uh, Mr. Edmund C. But we boy, you become my mate, Lori. He's still my woman, your partner. So, like I said, thank you for joining us. You happy tell you. Omar, you tell Omar, happy independence day. Let's be I'd like to say happy independence day to my own girl, uh, Biache Scopa. I'm complaining about what they're doing on my girl. Biache Scopa, I'd like to say happy independence day to you, sweetie. And uh, okay. happy independence day to my grandparents. Um, a couple of Dwayne and Idiot Dwayne and a happy independence to the entire Lima County District of Manoa respectively. I love you say I love you all and God love you. So the best. well, you. we say happy Independence Day to every valley and thanks to all for viewers, thanks to all of our contributors, thanks to our people, and thanks to, to Timothy, thanks to Pastor Jimmy, the proud to be my mom, Ari, SM Bawi, way there in Tapeta, Uncle Anthony Dan. We all say kudos to you people, we love you all, and uh, you can take it from our end. And we'll go to Studio B to just say you can have it a day. You can have it a day. Thanks, thanks, Jess.